Welcome to today's Retro Tech. I got a special update for the Neo Geo cabinet restoration. While I was working on other things, pretty much everything that we need has come in the mail as far as replacement parts and upgrade parts. I wanted to just show you what's come in so you kind of see and uh, get an idea for what we've had to do. First thing I want to show you is for the, our marquee up here. I went on eBay and I found some replacement EL lights and I didn't ha I didn't get to find these by searching for like arcade EL I had to just f find what size I needed and then I basically bought four of them but I went through this uh, I went through eBay because uh, it was very cheap now it did come from China I think it was about $45 and you know how sometimes you get what you pay for so we'll give these a test and see if they're an upgrade I wanted to switch out all four at the same time because I didn't want to have any be a little bit dimmer than another one and look a little bit maybe darker or a different color. So in order to make those match, we, uh, we, we're replacing all four of them. Uh, something else I got from the marquee is just a repla couple replacement actual marquee stickers or inserts for the games we have. and. That way we can have all four real ones in here. Those were off eBay also. Uh, another item off eBay was uh, for the inside on the arcade board is a uh, battery replacement. We're gonna have to do a battery modification and change it to this coin battery so that we can easily change the battery. A lot of the problems happen over time if the original batteries stay in these and aren't changed, they end up leaking and causing a lot of damage and really destroying a lot of Neo Geo 4 slots especially. It's very uh, sad to see that happen. So I got one more item off of eBay and that is uh, the Multi-Game 161 uh, cart here. It's pretty good, it's got about 95 or so real games and then a bunch of other hacks, all the rest of them. Uh, works well on this. And it was cheap at under $50. Um, now the rest of the stuff I got came from specific arcade suppliers. Uh, this first little one came from Finland. And it came with a lovely manual. And then about a matchbook size box with a chip in it. And that is the new Universal BIOS chip. I think it's version 4.0, the most recent. Uh, but this is going to unlock a lot of things. Uh, it's going to give us access to the home versions of any of our MVS carts. It's going to give us cheats and other interesting things we'll get to check out. So you can see that we're going to have some work to do on both the outside and the inside of the uh, arcade unit. I will probably do a capacitor uh, replacement kit on the board as well when I have it out. Uh, the next thing we've got is from ArcadeQuarter.com. They're a good supplier. This is uh, my first dealing with them, but I got some things here from them. Um, I first got some new Teflon legs levelers, uh, so I can replace all four of those. And those ran right about $10 for all four. And then I got a length of uh, the size we need that for our trim to replace all the trim around the arcade. Uh, you got it here, we'll just have to cut it and use it as we go. And they did have one more thing. And I really loved this when I saw it because one of the things that just looks ugly on here is my controller panel. It just, you know, I can take care of the rust easily on the front. But I really wanted to get something that looks good in a new, almost brand new controller uh, panel overlay, and they actually have one. Now, this one was pricey, I think it was about $90, but it's very high quality, as you can see, and it's just going to go right in place of the old one. My old one has cracks and burn marks and discoloration on it, and it's going to look great with this brand new overlay. So, I highly recommend that so far. And we've got one more big box here. And this is 
from a company that came highly recommended. They do artwork and other ca cabinet um, stickers, high quality is what he was saying. Um, it looks nice. They had a good website. The web or the pro the sellers uh, named Sabo's Arcades. That's S Z A B O Arcades uh, out of New Jersey, and they've got it all in a roll here. So I'm not going to unroll it. But what this is, this is all brand new graphics for our unit. We got some woodwork we need to do. We've got some touch-up painting we need to do and sanding. And obviously we can't keep this old uh, overlay on there and save it. And it's, it's already torn up a little bit. It's discolored. I don't want to try to paint it with stencils or anything. And this was a fantastic option. It was around, it was a little over $200 shipped, but definitely, hopefully this will work great. You'll get to see after we start working on it and try to put it in how good it actually works. But uh, I'm excited to try this. I think all of this along with the paint and um, the upgrades inside is gonna make this machine uh, just a beauty. And I really appreciate you following along. Please let me know if you have any questions and look for more content from Retro Tech. Thanks, like, share, and subscribe.